That's overcooked. Chicken's overcooked. You know, the sauce is tasteless. Last up is mum of three, Lucy. She's on probation after a disastrous morning, so everything rests on what John thinks of her dish. I just hope it's cooked. So do I. Go on, get out. All ten dishes tasted. John must now decide who has shown the least improvement and lacks the determination to learn, and so must be sent home. The criminals now have to await John's decision. Can Mystic J-Star see what's coming? I think some people are not quite as good as other people, but often the tides turn and you never know who's going to be the winner. And young Adam is concerned he hasn't cooked well enough to stay. I don't know if I'm going to be getting booted out or not, because he did say that I was the only person to do everything wrong. All right, then. But Adam's not the only one worried. Lucy is also feeling she hasn't done enough and calls her husband to let him know. I might be home earlier than we thought. <laughs> All right, then. Speak to you later. Bye. It will be a shame if I have to go, and obviously um, if, I, if I can't come back, because I, I want to learn to cook. This is it, the moment of truth. Remember, John's in competition with his fierce rival, Angela Hartnett. They both have to transform one of the country's worst cooks into someone capable of producing a first-class meal. John's determined to win, so each day he must get rid of the cook that has shown the least promise and ability to improve under his tuition. Somebody tonight committed a mortal sin. I've got to find someone who's going to go up against Angela's best. This is a competition, and because it's a competition, somebody has got to go. The criminals need the right attitude to learn. All day, Daniel has pushed John to breaking point with his cocky arrogance. Will John snap and get rid of him? Daniel, you showed great potential today, but I don't know if I can put up with you. You're such a cocky chap. You're even cockier than I am. What I'd like you to do is focus a lot more on your work, OK? Yes, sir. Thank you. John put Lucy on probation because her first dish was a disaster and she lacked self-belief. He told her she'd have to improve or she'd be booted out of camp. Has she done enough to stay? Lucy, you were on probation this afternoon. You're not on probation after that effort, OK? You did well. Are you pleased with yourself? I'm really pleased, yeah. yeah good. Lucy's renewed focus means she lives to fight another day. John can't afford to be lenient. He has to send the least promising student home. Now, Jenny, the chicken was just a complete mess. You committed the mortal sin. You burnt your sauce. There's nothing you can do to retrieve it. You ruined the dish. You've got to go. OK. Thank you. I gave it my best shot, and obviously it's not good enough. I really did want to learn to cook, but I'm not going to be able to now, am I? Jenny, she's a lovely lady, but she was the worst today. But there's a lot of seriously bad cooks in camp, and I'm getting really worried.